thank you for the invitation. My talk will be about the alternative treatment of thyroid nodules and thyroid carcinoma and the difference between monopolar and bipolar RFA. My name is Professor Korku Suz, and I am a founding member of the German Center for Thermal Ablation. Many large studies have shown that over half of the population has thyroid nodules. The better ultrasound equipment becomes, the more nodules are also detected. This means having thyroid nodules is something normal. When you go to the doctor because the nodule is bothering you, he does an ultrasound and measures the size of the nodule. We assume that the nodule has a volume of 10 cubic centimeters. One doctor may measure it smaller at 8.5 cubic centimeters. Another may measure it larger at 11.5 cubic centimeters. The second doctor immediately recommends surgery because the lump seems to have grown significantly. He puts pressure and fear. But in reality, the nodule has not grown at all, it was just measured too small. This measurement inaccuracy is called inter-observer variation. In some cases the measurement inaccuracy is plus slash minus 30%. Therefore be careful. Nodules always want to grow larger, nodules can do nothing but grow that is their life's work. Is nodule growth a sign of carcinoma? No. Nodule growth is something normal. Even a fast-growing nodule is not associated with malignancy. The ACR tirades criteria do not consider nodule growth at all. The ACR tirades criteria only consider nodule morphology. If carcinoma is suspected, a biopsy is taken. Again, growth of nodules is normal. Let's look at the data from the U.S. on thyroid carcinoma. The probability of dying from thyroid cancer is about 0.2 is 0.4 per 100,000 population, depending on gender. This rate has not changed in the last 40 years. It has remained stable. The histological examination of thyroid nodules, i.e. the number of operations only with new cases of carcinoma has doubled. The number of operations has at least doubled but the mortality rate has not decreased. Only about 4 out of about 40 thyroid surgeries find thyroid carcinoma in the U.S. That's 10%. In the remaining 90% of all thyroid operations in the USA, no carcinoma is found. What does that mean? Too much surgery has been done without any evidence that it was worthwhile. Internationally, four times more operations are performed in the USA than in the Netherlands in relation to the number of inhabitants. But people in the Netherlands do not die more often from thyroid carcinoma. Why? What is the reason? The first reason is, money. Unfortunately, money rules the world. Also among doctors. And the last decisive reason is fear of carcinomas. But is fear of thyroid carcinoma justified? In this study, autopsies were performed on traffic accident deaths, for example. They wanted to know what diseases the deceased had. In the USA, 5 to 24 percent of all autopsies had thyroid carcinoma. However, no one died of it. So you could say that about 5 to 24 percent of all US people have thyroid cancer, but they don't know about it. People die of heart attacks, infections, and more likely heartbreak, but not thyroid cancer. The likelihood of knowing someone who has died from thyroid cancer is very very low and this is despite the fact that up to 65% of people have a thyroid nodule and almost 24% have thyroid cancer. If you have a diagnosis of thyroid carcinoma, then of course we recommend thyroid surgery, because only with surgery can the lymph nodes be removed and examined for metastases. But if as a person refuse surgery, then we can do a cooled bipolar RFA. To do nothing in refuse therapy, that would be the worst of all solutions. Now to our center. We performed the first microwave ablation in Europe in 2012. The first echotherapy on thyroid nodules in Germany. The first bipolar RFA therapy in the world. We even treat children with thyroid nodules. We already treated the first carcinoma in 2016. We are the only center in Europe that successfully treats parathyroid adenomas. I am proud of the award of the largest health insurance company in Germany, which recognized our center at the leading edge of medicine. What are the main differences between monopolar RFA and bipolar RFA? In bipolar RFA, 
the electric current flows between the two poles inside the tumor. This is where the heat is generated. It has no effect on the rest of the thyroid gland or the body. In monopolar radio frequency the electric flows from the high energy density tip through the nodule, across the thyroid gland, through the nerves and vessels throughout the body to the other pole on the arms or legs. Unfortunately, in America and in countries like Italy, Turkey, only systems from Korea with monopolar RFA are offered. In Europe, especially in German-speaking countries, we use our own special bipolar device. Since the ablation area is very small with monopolar systems, the probe is constantly moved. This is called moving shot technique. This results in higher complication rates. The following differences are listed. To achieve the same volume reduction as with bipolar RFA, it takes several sessions with MRFA. The cost is enormous. Who is going to afford it? You have the risk for skin burns. Capsular ruptures are possible, with BRFA there is no such thing. The spread of metastases is possible, because the probe is constantly moved. Patients with pacemakers, pregnant women or other implants cannot be treated. The cost is six to $10,000 per therapy. Our system is very robust. The system is amortized. Therefore, the therapy costs only between 2,500 to 3,500 euros which is $2,600 to $3,700. I would also like to take this opportunity to mention that in our center we also offer HIFU, echotherapy in the treatment of breast tumors and thyroid nodules. HIFU is a highly focused ultrasound, it is only energy, which is focused on the tumor. No incision or anesthesia is necessary. Here you can see the treatment of a breast tumor. The robotic arm is on the breast and fires at the breast tumor. Here you can see the treatment of a thyroid nodule. Now the shot comes and ablation develops inside the nodule. In some cases, we do HIFU instead of RFA for thyroid nodules. HIFU has been established especially for breast tumors. These are results of our work. There is no volume limit, we can treat all sizes of nodules. For very large nodules, we need more time accordingly. The results are very good. With us there is a guarantee. You cannot treat such nodes with monopolar RFA in one session. Here you can see the treatment success of a thyroid carcinoma. After three months the carcinoma has been completely removed from the body. I am often asked if I would perform hydrodissection to protect the nerves or vessels. No. When someone says hydrodissection is necessary in the treatment of a thyroid nodule, they run away. Because that is just trickery to get more money. All nodes are accessible and treatable without hydrodissection. Only lymph node metastases require hydrodissection in my opinion. Here is an example. This is a lymph node metastasis. Above it is a vein and artery. Right next to it is the trachea. Now a hydrodissection is performed to have an access route into the metastasis. As you can see, the distance between the metastasis and the trachea has increased. After the hydrodissection, the probe is brought into the metastasis. Here you see the treatment of parathyroid adenomas. This is just below and on the back side of the thyroid gland. We have published scientific papers on parathyroid adenoma therapy. The results are good. The therapy is more complex than for thyroid nodules. There are perhaps only two to three centers in the world that successfully offer this therapy. We were the first in the world using Brufa. This is a hot toxic thyroid nodule. The hot thyroid nodule uncontrollably absorbs increased iodine and produces increased thyroid hormones. This can lead to osteoporosis, high blood pressure and increased heart attacks. Such nodules are treated by radioiodine therapy. The patient takes radioactive iodine tablet, which goes into the nodule and destroys it. The problem is that after some time the whole thyroid gland can lose its function and hypofunction can develop. So, from one extreme to the other extreme. Even if you surgically remove the nodule, hypothyroidism develops. The problem of hypothyroidism are, infertility, weight increase and many more. But above all, the lifelong dependence on thyroid hormones. By means of BRFA only the hot nodule is treated. The normal healthy thyroid tissue is not damaged and keeps its normal function. The thyroid gland works normally again. 
In our center we also perform the following therapies. Assay dilution therapy This is a special therapy for Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. The aim is to normalize thyroid function. 2. Alcohol installation. We perform this in some cases of benign thyroid nodules and in some cases of thyroid cancer. The advantage is the low cost of about 900 euros, $950. If you are interested in a therapy in one of our centers, you can send me an email. Please attach to your email the ultrasound pictures, ultrasound findings, biopsy findings and laboratory findings. We can discuss your findings in an online meeting. After the online meeting you have to donate 150 euro to the Children's Cancer Aid or to another non-profit organization. Soldiers from the USA and their family members can get the therapy for free, because their insurance covers the costs. Patients who have no money can get the therapy costs donated through our association. However, the flight and hotel costs are not covered. Below on the website you will find Patient reports Scientific articles of my working group Press releases Videos with treatments Wikipedia article And much more useful information